So today we're gonna to talk about the different school districts in San Diego County, and it's gonna start right now. So welcome back to our channel. As I mentioned, we're gonna talk about all the different school districts here in San Diego, uh, San Diego County actually. There's a lot of schools here, so we're gonna kind of just give you an overview, not to overwhelm you with too much information. But uh, first we're gonna start with a few facts about schools in San Diego in general. And kind of what makes them different. What yeah. makes the schools in San Diego different. If you're coming from somewhere that's not California, mm -hmm. these might be some um, surprising facts for yeah. you. If you, or you don't may have not... an ocean next door, it might be different. If you don't have an different. ocean next door, right. Yeah. Um, I would say the first thing I would mention is that a lot of the schools are outdoor campuses. So your kid is gonna be outside for a lot of the day. Of course, the classrooms are inside, but a lot of the hallways, um, or at a lot of the schools, the hallways are outdoor hallways. Yeah, when they go from classroom to classroom, That's they'll, right. they'll most be outside. So, so... the lunchroom right. is not in often an enclosed room. It is just a covered sort of patio area. Mm -hmm. um, I know there's some of the schools that have like their amphitheaters are all outside. Mm -hmm. You know, they have big quads, sort of like grassy areas or concrete areas that are also outside, not even not even often covered, yeah. which is different. You don't get much snow, you don't get much rain here. That's so, right, so the weather's uh, not really a factor, so they just... But it is sunny, so it's load sunny. up on that sunscreen. You need, so, all, you need to sunscreen sure. your kids every day before they go to right. school. Another fact you should know about it, not every school has transportation, like school bus transportation to the school. So, yes. And if they do have it, you do actually have to pay extra for it. Usually. Sometimes you do have to pay extra for it, right? Because um, I know some of the schools only have about two or three buses that mm -hmm. actually go to the school. Mm -hmm. um, and that's for a school of about almost a thousand students. And so two or three buses for a thousand kids because there just aren't that many um, bus riders, yeah. I would say, because they really do try to build a lot of neighborhood schools. Mm -hmm. So that you can walk to, can or walk very to, short or just, drive to. Right. So and when so I grew up on the East Coast, everyone took the bus. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. Not as much out here. In no, Sydney. I was totally surprised by that. Another great thing about uh, the public schools here, they have a lot of great before and after school programs here. They call mm -hmm. ESS here. Mm -hmm. Extended school okay. services. Yes, that's before school and after school care. Right. And also summer. There are summer options. They have summer camps out there too. Right. So if you uh, and there they're actually very affordable too. So it's a great option for, you know, if both parents are working here in San Diego as mm -hmm. well. Another thing is that the schools often have varying start times. So for one school district, say you have six elementary schools, right. it's not all 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Some of the schools might start at 745, one might start at 805, one might be 825. Mm -hmm. So that's something to think about if you're coming out here. And uh, I know that was something that we thought about when we moved out mm -hmm. here because we chose an earlier start. We chose a school with an earlier start time initially because that worked with my husband's work schedule and just being able to drive the kids around. I didn't really realize that, yeah. that that would even be an option. And when we called this the um, district office and they said, well, what would work best for you? So the last thing I'll mention is just, uh, since we are in California, we are a coastal state and we do have a lot of schools and school districts that are right on the coast, there are a lot of different sports that are offered here that are not offered um, all over the nation. There are surf teams, surf teams that are really accomplished mm -hmm. actually too. There is a lot of, a lot of aquatic mm -hmm. sports, um, beach volleyball, um, swimming, diving, water polo. Water polo is really big out here. And then there are some schools that opt not to have certain sports. There mm -hmm. are some schools that don't have a traditional football team, right. that don't offer cheerleading. So if any of that is important to you, you might want to look into what your school has to offer. Let me just preface this with, all, well, there's a lot of great schools here in San Diego. So this isn't a, our favorite schools or best schools. This is just right. what we've kind of accumulated from online research here. So right. hopefully it, it helps break it down for you a little bit more. Yes. Okay, with that said, we're gonna get into the school districts here. We're gonna start with the uh, San Diego Union School Got District. Got it, yep. I always say that wrong. <laughs> so San Diego is kind of the area of Del Mar, Solana mm -hmm. Beach, Carmel Valley. Finish.com is ranked the best school in San Diego. School County. district. School district in San Diego. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have some great schools over there. They have Katori Pines High School. Katori Pines High they School, They have yep. Canyon Crest Academy. A um, mm -hmm. lot of great elementary, middle schools, Common Valley Middle School, uh, a lot of good schools there. The big difference between the two high schools there probably are in Torrey Pines, your typical uh, high school experience, mm -hmm. and Canyon Crest Academy, 
is more it's very academic they don't very have academic. a football team they don't have like a cheerleading team right they do have sports but it is very yeah. academically focused That's and right. highly competitive but very yes com it's definitely one of the most competitive, competitive. Uh, high schools here in yeah. san diego i would right. say right also ranked um, a plus by niche.com is poway unified which is the school district that that we live in mm -hmm. and that our kids go to school in it's a really big school mm -hmm. district there are 39 schools i believe yeah it's the second biggest uh school district in san diego right. san diego unified right. is the largest it covers a huge expanse from poway Rancho Penasquitas, um, Del Sur, 4S Ranch, Rancho Bernardo. I'm sure you're gonna throw a map up mm. there so that everybody knows what I'm mm. talking about. But it covers a lot of space. Lots of different schools, lots of different start times. Um, and I would say, I think they're all pretty great. So. And I'm not gonna lie, that's a big draw for why mm. people move here. Yeah. Um, all of San Diego County has really has some really great yeah. schools to offer. And uh, I, I think that is a big draw for people. Yeah, I, I that's, know that's why that's we probably moved the top two reasons why people move to this Definitely. area. Definitely, and so. people want to know, which is why we're making this video because right. people are asking. People ask me all the time about schools, about so schools. I just feel like it was time to finally make a video on you the school always district make here. Me talk about <laughs> I know she she yells at me for talking about schools all the time. Yeah, but that's what people want to know. So I know. That's what we're doing. That's what so. I wanted to know. I wish someone had made this right. video before I moved out here. <laughs> I know it's true. Uh, another one that's ranked A plus is the Coronado uh, School District in yes. on Coronado Island. Uh, it's probably one of the smallest school districts right. probably in all of San Diego. It just covers Coronado. Uh, yeah, and I think there's only a handful of schools in that area. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just on Coronado Island, so it's not a huge area. The schools are all ranked A or A plus on a Coronado Island. And next on that list is Carlsbad Unified School District, which is a smaller school mm -hmm. district, but also ranked A plus on niche.com. Right. Um, I think there was something like, uh, what was it? It was two high schools three middle schools yeah. and like five elementary schools or something in Carlsbad yeah. uh, Unified, but still, you know, great rankings and Carlsbad's a yeah. great little town there, so. They have a good, good sports uh, community up there as well. They're also a lot right of, there on the water, aquatic sports, right. aquatic sports. And a lot of baseball football. players come out of the Carlsbad area. I've oh, seen really? that, yeah. Uh, at the Phillies number one draft pick about three years ago was, was Carlsbad really? High School. Really? Yeah. So, fun Go fact. Fills. Moving on, we have uh, it ranked A. Still incredible. No one is doing. Yeah, I mean anything. Still incredible. Anything a B, B or above is yeah. obviously pretty good. Right, a, I was uh, a solid B student in <laughs> school, so. And you're doing okay. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Uh, San Marcos Unified School District. Um, obviously in San Marcos, you'll see that on the map there. Um, also has a good ranking. Um, Grossmont Union School District that covers El Cajon, La Mesa, um, those areas which are uh, further East County. Mm -hmm. Also ranked A. The reason, a big attraction to San Diego is the public yeah. schools are here are so good. Yeah. So I'm like, we don't have to show all the rankings of every single school district here in San Diego, but the long and short of it is the schools are very good here, especially North County probably has the majority of the good schools, but there's plenty down in South and East County as well. Next, I would say for our B plus ranking, mm -hmm. we're going to mention here because this is the largest uh, school district in San Diego County is the San Diego Unified School District. Yeah. It covers a really large expanse. So you got all kinds of options there. Obviously there are some schools that are better than others mm -hmm. in uh, San Diego Unified, but there's seems, it sounds like there's something for everyone. Yeah, they, and just because it's a B doesn't mean there aren't good schools in no, there. No, no, no. They have to rank some rank 10 out of 10, but it's so big that it, you know, yes. it varies. There's the actually a charter school in the San Diego mm -hmm. Unified School District called the Preuss School. Preuss. Preuss School, ninth in, all, no, ninth in all of California, oh. and number, and it's um, 87th nationwide. Oh, you're right. uh, okay, that's no small feat. 87th nationwide. 87th in the entire that's amazing. country. Yes, that's pretty good. So that was our list of public school districts here in San Diego. But now I want to talk a little bit about the private schools in case you guys are moving here and looking to do private school. Uh, the number one ranked private school here in San Diego is called the Bishop School which is located in La Jolla. La Jolla. Yes, mm -hmm. um, so that's definitely the highest rated one. But there's a bunch of other ones in there too. There's La Jolla Country Day School. Yep. That's a very popular one Francis here. Francis Parker School. Francis Parker School Valley. is also very, very popular here. So yep. those are all like the highest rated private schools you can get yes. here in San Diego. We have um, Cathedral Catholic School. Um, yeah, which is actually it's a very highly Belfast rated. Del Mar it's Del Yeah, Del Mar. Carmel it's, Valley. It's in Carmel Valley. We also have um, an amazing Jewish Academy. The mm -hmm. San Diego Jewish Academy runs about $26,000 a year in tuition. But also very highly acclaimed uh, school mm -hmm. academically. So that was our video on the, the different schools in San Diego County. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys ever thinking about moving to San Diego, we'd love to help you find your next home. 
And if this is your first time on our channel, please subscribe to our channel as we post new videos every week. And click like. Below. And if you want to learn more about San Diego, check out some of our videos we have right here because it tells you really good information about San Diego. Thanks for watching and catch us next time. Bye. Bye.